Are you an unhealthy candidate for Middle Eastern Airlines? Did you apply to become a cabin crew for Middle Eastern Airlines? Or do you want to become a cabin crew with them, a fresher cabin crew? Then this video is for you because it contains a lot of equipment statues and updates. So if you're interested, keep on watching and let's start. Please welcome back to this channel Queen MK. My name is Hajar. I'm a cabin crew coach and in this video I will share with you the information I have about recruitment statues for many many Middle Eastern Airlines. I will be talking about Qatar Airways, Etihad, Emirates, with Air in Abu Dhabi. Also I will be talking about Air Arabia, Fly Dubai, so I have information about all of those. If you are an on-hold candidate or you want to apply, then watch this video and I kept the best news till last. So you better keep watching to see the news. Maybe you've never applied, so you don't know the meaning of on-hold candidates. On-hold candidates are the people who applied already for the job, but then the company said okay to them. You are selected, but then they did not give them a date of joining. And we all know that there are some travel restrictions. And also because of the virus, things are really, really slow. They're not recruiting cabin crew. And also they fired some of the cabin crew. So I explained on-hold candidate because many Many of you are not on hold candidate and maybe you don't even know the meaning of on hold and let's get right to it. I will first start talking about Wizz Air. I'm not talking about the Wizz Air which is located in Europe but I'm talking about the branch located in the Middle East exactly in Abu Dhabi. Many of you already applied for Wizz Air to become a cabin crew based in Abu Dhabi and I made a video about that before the moment they started recruiting but those people are on hold they're still on hold but the great news is that Wizz Air are contacting those people with dates of joining. Unfortunately, there are still some travel restrictions, so they keep on postponing that date of joining, but it is great, great news. It means that your recruitment process was not canceled. You will not be receiving any rejection emails, and that is actually great, and you will be joining the airline pretty soon, as soon as the travel restrictions are not there anymore. But please do enjoy that job the moment that you start flying because I think it's one of the best jobs in the world. Temporary job, temporary jobs. I will insist on that because you cannot fly for the rest of your life. Otherwise, it will become boring and the same like any other job. For Bahrain Air, they are contacting people, but they're not the people who applied to become cabin crew, but then the people who applied for ground jobs like duty free. And most of those people are actually Tunisians. I was actually surprised. Huh, Tunisians, really. So they're looking for Arabic speakers from North of Africa. If you want to apply for those kind of jobs, please do apply. But then here they're contacting, the, they're contacting them with dates of joining and those people will be traveling soon to Bahrain to work in the airport. What do I think about ground jobs? They suck. I don't really recommend people to work in the airport unless they have another goal, which means if you start working with the airline in a ground job, then you will keep on working on yourself to become a cabin crew because I know that many people applied for ground jobs to become a cabin crew eventually, but then they're still stuck in that job for years and years and years. And I don't want that for you. The salary is horrible. The way they're living is not that good is not that glamorous and you will not be enjoying the part of being a cabin crew of working with a glamorous airline because you will not be seeing the world let's move to etihad i don't know if you know etihad but then etihad is actually a decent airline i think it's a five stars airline i'm not really sure but then it's a really nice airline the uniform of the cabin crew is amazing also the rights of the cabin crew are quite cool do you know that it's one of the few airline that allow beer to the guys so that is actually amazing the grooming standards are quite flexible and they do fly all over the world so it's quite cool it is actually based in 
in Abu Dhabi, which is around one hour drive if you're not a fast driver from Dubai. It's quite cool. And actually, they started sending emails to the people who applied to become a cabin crew with them, the positive emails with dates of joining. So this is an amazing news for the people who want to become a cabin crew with Etihad, the people who applied to become a cabin crew with Etihad. So please, when you start flying, enjoy it. Do not really focus on the negative side like we all do, I guess. <laughs> I spoke about the positive side for Etihad, but then there is a confusing side, I guess. But who am I to be confused? You tell me if it confuses you or not. <laughs> Do you know that they actually planned two trial batches? I don't know if you understand what that means exactly, but then you know that in training college for the period of two months, you have to have a training to be an eligible cabin crew with them. And they planned two batches. And I think a batch will contain around 20 people. And they gave them dates of joining and everything, but then they recontacted them and they gave them a regret emails and they were like sorry you can't really join right now that trial will fail so you better apply again reapply again when there is an open vacancy so those people I bet they were so excited that they're already a cabin crew with Etihad but then now they have to reapply all over again like any of you who never applied for the job or applied received a rejection email hmm, that's actually bad Anyways, let's move to Fly Dubai. I don't know if you know Fly Dubai, but it's actually a small airline in Dubai and they have really small, tiny aircrafts, but then the salary is quite okay. It's almost like Emirates cabin crew. It's around 8,000 dirham. So you know that they sent some of the cabin crew on unpaid leave. Some of them were forced to have unpaid leave. Some of them were actually given a choice to take unpaid leave, so they are not redundant. But now they're contacting those people who are on unpaid leave and they're telling them to rejoin again so they will start their training soon because they have to do some training before they start flying again obviously for some safety measures do you know the meaning of unpaid leave do you know the positive and the negative side so basically when you take unpaid leave you're supposed to go back home or stay in dubai but then you are allowed to have another job you know when you are a cabin crew with emirates with qatar airways you're not allowed to have a part-time job or any other job that and that includes being a youtuber and influencer because you will be receiving money for that so that is completely illegal to them and you know that i spoke before about people making food selling food selling stuff and that is illegal and you can actually go to jail for that you will definitely get fired if you have a second job but then you might even go to jail so you better be careful if you want to be a cabin crew hashtag influencer you must take permission from the airline okay now those people People are asked to come back to the airline they will start flying soon and they started training already so that is cool right now do you know Air Arabia Air Arabia is actually located in Sharjah Sharjah is around 15 minutes from Dubai I think 15 minutes drive but then you can actually just cross one road and you're there in Sharjah many people who say they live in Dubai, but they actually do live in Georgia because it is cheaper. The rent there is way cheaper in Dubai and every single thing is way cheaper than Dubai. So that airline is actually located in Sharjah. People applied. They were on hold like any other on hold cabin crew now they contacted them with dates of joining but then again we know that there are some travel res restrictions still so they keep on postponing those dates of joining but at least you didn't receive a rejection you are still an on hold candidate hopefully you will not be receiving a rejection email because they said that they will hire those people who are on hold
And now let's go to Emirates because I bet that you want to apply for Emirates or even for Qatar Airways. So I will talk about Emirates and then I will go and talk about Qatar Airways for Emirates. The redundant ground staff are being called now. They're calling them to start to work in again. And here I'm talking about people who are working in the airport or also some other ground jobs like duty free or even the ground jobs in Emirates headquarters. That is actually great news for you guys, but I highly don't recommend working as a ground staff unless you have another purpose which is becoming a cabin crew or even in some higher position because the salary is quite low and I've made videos about that. I've received many emails, many messages from people who work in ground jobs and they say that their life sucks literally. For the people who were on hold, they applied for jobs and they were on hold for ground jobs. As I said, they contacted them with dates of joining. So that is quite cool. But then for the people who applied to become a cabin crew, they still did not receive any email whatsoever. And there is no news of hiring new people because as we all know when Emirates starts hiring they don't go to social media and tell them about it and they also don't tell anyone until there is a vacancy so basically for Emirates they started rehiring the redundant cabin crew that's the first they call the people who are on hold for ground jobs and they also opened new vacancies for ground jobs and not the cabin crew unfortunately for the moment Let's go and talk about Qatar Airways. Qatar Airways is actually pretty active right now. I made a video about that before and I said that they hired some of the redundant cabin crew, but they were told to stay um, silent about it and they're not supposed to even tell their family members or their friends or social media, obviously. But not just that, there are many news about Qatar Airways. The crew who were asked to take unpaid leave now they're asked to come back to Doha and do work again as a cabin crew. So they, they will start their training again pretty soon. Also for the people who were stuck out station, because you know guys that some of the cabin crew unfortunately were on leave before all of this virus started and then they were stuck in those countries in their home country or even they were on vacation so they were pretty stuck and they could not get them back to Doha so they are not working for around a year now now those people are asked to come back to Doha and start working again they even started the procedure of getting them back to Doha they gave them the tickets and everything to come back and start working again now for the redundant pilots they started rehiring some of the redundant pilots and you know the meaning of that the people who were fired now they have their jobs back and that is actually cool now for the people who were on hold because they applied for ground jobs they received positive emails and they told them that they will join and they gave them dates of joining so that is amazing but then unfortunately for the people who applied to become a cabin crew they received rejection emails and i will tell you the reason behind that do you know guys when your application lasts more than eight months it's an automatic rejection so that is the reason it does not mean that they don't want to or that your chances are low but then just reapply again the moment they start opening a new vacancies because as I said, they started calling the people who are on hold for ground, for ground jobs, but also they opened the new vacancies for ground jobs. So they will start opening the new vacancies for the cabin crew job. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully pretty soon because I'm waiting for that more than you guys. The only, the only vacancy for cabin crew for Qatar Airways is actually not for fresher cabin crew unfortunately it's actually for people with experience that is more than five years so if you worked for another airline or Qatar Airways and you have a clean record and you resigned by yourself then you can apply for this vacancy because it's a cabin crew senior cabin crew for private jets also if you worked for any other airline for a period that is over five years because they demand five years experience then you can apply to become a cabin crew a senior cabin crew for Qatar airways i believe with private jets if i recommend that if i don't recommend that 
I never say work for private jets because I've heard so many horrible things. We keep on hearing some bad things, but then we never know the reality. I've heard about people going to interviews, not with Qatar Airways private jets, with some private jets, and they actually told them that they're supposed to do every single thing the customer asks. I'm not pretty sure if that is true or not because I did not do it personally but then I had some of my really really close friends saying that to me so we never really know the truth so if you still want to fly with and you have a five years experience then apply for that if you don't like it you can simply resign and say that if they ask you for things that you don't want to do or you're not supposed to do then just leave right it's pretty easy and luckily now if you work for Qatar Airways and you get fired or you resign you will not blacklist it from uh, going to Doha to Qatar not like before if they fire you then you're not supposed to work there but now people who were made redundant or who were fired or even the people who resigned they are still in Doha and they work there they found jobs there they did not restrict them or anything like that and i really hope that you like this video that this video gave you some good news it cheered you up because that is the purpose of this channel giving you information but mostly maybe giving you hope and opening your eyes so you're more vigilant now i hope you like this video again and i hope to see you soon now see you on the other videos take care of yourselves and bye bye